In this video, I'm going to show how OpenBridge Designer handle Camber and Haunch. So to do that, um, before going into the video, I will explain what's in there. This is, we can see here is a garter. And this is the support lines. We can see just one single span here in the longitudinal direction. And this is the camber here. Then if this is the camber, this is the garter, usually the haunch or hog, we can say on top of that, on top of the garter. Then we have deck on top of the haunch or hog. And here we can notice on the center line that C we point out which is the top of the garter and then B, which is the bottom of deck. So in this whole feature, this is possible. And this shows that deck is separated by the haunch from the garter. So this is possible. And the possibility is as long as B over C, this is good for the model and this is possible and this is okay. So next see another options which is here we can see this is the camber, this is the garter, this is the haunch hog and this is the deck. So this point where we can say it's almost met the deck top bottom of the deck and the top of the garter which is B becomes C. B and C basically equal equal uh, at equal ele elevation at, at the same elevation. So top of garter touched the decks of it, which is possible as well. So this is correct. So the next one is this one where we can see the camber is here and we can see the point B, which is the bottom of deck, is below the top of garter, which is point C, which is practically wrong, which cannot happen. So through the Open Bridge Designer, we have two process. One is automated process where we'll make sure that C cannot go above B. C will be always B. And there is also a manual process in the Open Bridge Designer where we can ensure that C is always below B. So that's I'm going to show in the Open Bridge Designer now. This is a deck gutter bridge here. We can see the section. The deck is horizontal and there is no crossfall. It is perfectly horizontal. Let's have a look. Here is the, um, the coordinate and we can see the elevation here. So we can check. We can see there this is 30. So this point is 30 meter. So another one is the bottom one is 29.75 meter. So that is 0.25 meter, which is 250 millimeter. We'll check another one. This here, we can see this is 30. And we can see this is 29.75, so 0.25 everywhere. So now uh, this is already modeled. Uh, so deck, everything is modeled. Uh, so we can, when we assign uh, the deck, uh, the girders, we um, provide the haunch, but this is not given here, but we can also edit. So we will edit now the haunch as required. So we go into there. So this usually come when we assign the garters. So there are 
two things one is the compute we will not do the compute compute will do later on um, first we do which i'll show this process the first one so uh, let's say at the start and end we are providing a haunch of 60 millimeter and end also the same 60 millimeter and we apply to all okay now we go to this is calculating so now we go to analysis and report and in the camber let's say we have a camber of 100 millimeter so we assign and we can copy these to all beams so that all will be 100 millimeter and then self deflection additional deflection let's we just leave this as zero but we can also input this here and also we can uh, bring those information from leave bridge concrete so we generate <coughs> and then we can see here the camber report is not submitted we need to submit so this is by default that creates 11 points but we can also increase or decrease the points along the um, span length so let's we just leave as by default one and we submit So what we can see here is camber 100 millimeters self deflection and additional deflection as we have provided um, a zero. And then the main thing is uh, the deck elevation at those points, whatever it will find. So in our case, this is 30 meters. So it gets that skid elevation is the same. So guarded top elevation, this is the most important bit for us to check. So we know the bottom of the deck is 29.75 so this is the point B in our diagram that we showed and this would be the top of the garter which is the point C so we can remember C needs to be below B at most it can go up to B but not above B so our B is 29.75 so this cannot go above 29.75 so we can see here many points are 20, above 29.75 so those are not correct so we need to correct our onch um, value what we have provided for this 100 millimeter camber if we need 100 millimeter camber we need to change our haunch so we go in there again and let's say we make it 90 millimeter So now we go into the analysis and report we can go into camber and we'll provide the camber as 100 millimeter and we'll submit the report we just leave it 11 points Now we can see there are many changes in the garter top elevation. So this is all 20 below 29.75, but here we can see 0 0.756, 0 0.76, 0 0.756. So those are still not correct, but those are correct. So again, we need to go and um, put a higher value of the haunch because 90 millimeter is not 100% working because still point C is above B so we go back there
now we are very close so I'll just provide 100 millimeter so we go back to analysis and report that in Canva and then we go here generate submit so now we can see here there is also some changes and those become less become less than 729.75 these become 29.75 which means the top of garter 29.75 this point is C and the bottom of the deck is B 29.75 at the center line it becomes B becomes C which is also which might which designer may consider this one as correct if he wants the top of deck bottom of deck on top of the garter now this is a trial and error method we show I showed now I will show the automated process that we can follow here we can see the deck and let's say this is a garter and if the deck is uh, has some slope and as a we see here the, dim the thickness is less here and this is this is um, higher than this point now as a designer if we want the haunch this is the minimum dimension we want let's say we want 20 millimeter wherever the deck is from the garter it cannot be um, closer than 20 millimeter we can put it zero as well like it can come here in that case we our minimum will be zero we can give any dimension but that point then will be uh, governed by the slope of the deck it's automated but this minimum we will provide to do that let's come to that garter again and here instead of putting these values we'll go into compute and in the compute we provide let's say 20 millimeter here and camber is 100 millimeter and we apply to all beams and we provide. now we go into camber report camber is 100 millimeter Submit the report for 11 points. Now we can see here the data here, the top of elevation has been changed, and the highest elevation is 29.73. So, which is correct because our bottom of deck was 29.75 and which is point B and from there we wanted at least 20 millimeter minimum um, haunch thickness we wanted minimum it cannot be less than that because my deck is horizontal so everywhere it maintained 20 millimeter and that's why the top of garter is at 29.73 so this point is C which is below B so C is below B which is correct so 29.73 20 millimeter below 29.75 and in this process we did not need to do the trial and error method because the 
minimum thickness minimum horns thickness and camber value was given and open bridge designer does this calculation in this automated process for the ease of the designer